everyone so today I thought it would be really nice to take you on a sort of swatch book tour so give you a little look of how I swatch things out where I keep all my swatches because I think it's quite interesting to see how different um, people keep an index of all the swatches um, there's lots of different ways you can record swatches some people don't at all which I've only recently updated mine, so I don't always go off the swatch book, but it is really nice um, to have it if you do want specific colours and you want to check that it is going to lay down the exact right colour that you're after. So I'm just going to pop this welcome little board out the way. So the way that I keep my swatches is in this little book. Now this is a handmade notebook that I got off a seller um she is on instagram so i will pop the link in the description if you're interested in one of these little notebooks so you can get your own initial on the front but i got an s for swatch book so i thought it'd be quite fun so you can choose what letter you want on the front so these are handmade um has your little ribbon to keep your pages in really really cute it has the little handcrafted notebooks stitched on the back so all my swatches are in here and it's only thin so it doesn't take up lots of room everything I need is in here so we're gonna have a little look so I'm gonna open it up and the first page is yeah this is the first page the first page I've got my castle arts now these were the very first pencils that I, that I ever had um, I was gifted these ones and really, you know, for a first pe pencil, budget pencil, they're all right. They're not horrible. I did find some of the pencils a little bit scratchy, but they're not a horrible pencil for a budget brand. Um, not horrible, horrible if you're first starting out. So I don't have these now, I give these to my daughters, um, as you know we're all home learning at the moment and they needed some coloured pencils so I give them this set as it was it was the least used. Um, so you can see this is how I do my swatching out, um, put the name at the top, these are blank pages that I've put my own lines in with a ruler. Um, really really simple but these ones I did quite small these swatches. So that's the castle arts. If you want to see what the castle arts look like, they're just here. I've not got the full set because I have given them to my daughters, but they don't have names on. They only have the pencil numbers, as you'll notice on there. So that's the castle arts if you need to adult colouring. So if if you are new, what we mean by swatching is that you put the brand of the pencil down. You put a little bit of the coloured pencil and then either your pencil will either have a name and a, and a number or just a number on the side. And then when you want a certain, say I wanted a really nice bright red, you come and have a look at what red you've got. There's a nice blood red there. You can see exactly what it's going to look, doing, look like on the paper and you can use that pencil. Then you're not disappointed. <laughs> so that's for anyone new. But yeah, that's my castle arts. And then this was the second set of pencils I ever owned. And it was just the Black Widow Scorpion set. I didn't have any of the other sets. So it is just the Scorpion set swatched out there. And the Scorpion set and all the other Black Widow sets I keep in this case which is really pretty so this has 120 slots i think so that's those ones and if my previous videos give you anxiety because i didn't have any of my pencils in the correct color coordinations i have tidied them all up as you will notice when we go through this video um 
I just chuck my pencils in any order basically so I don't know how long they'll stay like this but for now you know all my greens are there it's harder to see with the older sets of the black widows because they don't have this um color on the end so it's really tricky to try and find the color that you want in these ones but yeah that's where I keep my black widows <laughs> So moving on, this was the first set of Prismacolors that I got to try out. This was the manga set. Um, so that was those. The Karen Dash. Um, I just bought some single stocks on Cult Pens. So I've swatched them all here. This is the only Luminance pen pencils that I own. And to be honest, I'm going to be brutally honest. I don't see what all the rave is about them. Um, obviously, we're all different people like different sorts of pencils but I just didn't see how that price tag was justified I was expecting something so much more from those pencils um I don't know what I was expecting but I just thought for the price I wanted them to really amaze me and they didn't really amaze me so at the minute I don't think I'm going to expand on this collection I'll be honest um maybe an unpopular opinion but there we go um so i did just leave an extra page just in case i wanted to get a few more colors to test out but we'll see all the rest of my black widow pencils are swatched out here so it's really nifty this notebook you know it keeps everything compact um i don't have too much room to keep coloring supplies and everything like that so the more compact the better for me I don't want a million different swatch books. I want it all in the same compact space. So there's all the Black Widows. Moving on, I did get a few single stock Holbeins to test out as well. I absolutely adore them, but the price tag is beyond my means to get a full set. So I did get a few singles to try out first and I will be getting a few more because they are gorgeous. They're really, they are similar to the Prismacolor pencils, but um a bit different the texture's sort of the same but i don't know i really love love the whole barn pencils so the arteza set is a well-used set of pencils that i own beautiful i love them i got the 120 set they're all swatched out here as you can see there's some beautiful colors in this set I recommend these ones to anybody. If you're looking for a budget friendly um, brand of pencil, the Arteza 120 set, you cannot beat. It's a lovely soft, I find it a lovely soft pencil. Goes down nicely, blends nicely. But yeah, I have all them swatched out there. All my Artezas are in the Arteza case as well that you can get off the Arteza website. So it's this one. It's a really big case, this one. So I have put these in colour order as well guys turn it round then you can see Luke, Debbie I've fixed them all they're all beautifully coordinated now <laughs> Luke I'm not promising it's going to stay like this but for now look at this but you can see that the well used pencils a lot of them are burning really small now <laughs> Oh, it's just so funny how shocked everyone was when they saw the state of the order of my pencils. Chucked in, chucked in they was. Um, then I expanded on my Prismacolor Premier collection. Um, it took me a long time to get used to these pencils. From going from a hard leaded pencil onto something so soft and so blendable, I was finding it really tricky. But now I can confirm I really love these pencils. <laughs> It has took a while though. You have to teach yourself a whole different way of colouring when you get a new pencil. Um, I don't know if you've found that with anything where you just can't get on with a certain brand of pencil. Just keep trying. Keep trying because they're a beautiful selection of colours. Um, and I will be expanding on this collection. And that is why I know there's 150 pencils in the Prismacolor set. So I have left, I've ruled all my lines out and I've left space for the rest of the pencils so I can add to that at some point. Moving on, I've, this is a new pencil that I've got. I've got the Erogitan Tombow 
um, volumes one to six. So they come in three separate sets and I have got a review video up on my channel if you want to watch that. But I did swatch these out on the channel. Beautiful colours. I did my swatches slightly different on this one whilst I did it online because I wanted them to be seen easily. Whereas I had been doing little circles before. I wanted my viewers to really see the vibrancy of the colours. But these ones I've kept in the little boxes because they do come like this. So there is, if I turn them round, volumes one to six. Which are really cute in the little cases. So I've not got a separate pencil case for them. I am going to keep them in here. They are compact. They are nice to just sit on the side. But yeah, these are the swatches. This is how I did the swatches for those ones. They have the names. Lovely little names and then I've left room for the last set that I need to get in those so these are the Faber-Castell Polychromos these are a new pencil to me as well I got single stocks again of these and I absolutely adore them so I will be getting more of these and I have left room to swatch out more pencils of these as well really really nice pencil especially if you're doing her um, if you like doing portrait pictures and lots of her, like the Mariola Butte Deck images, anything like that, they're really good for her or for really good for getting those strokes. Well, there's, I've got some nice selections of browns here. But yeah, again, I've reeled out all the lines ready. There's 120 of them. So that's it of my pencils there. But in the back of the swatch book, I have swatched out some alcohol markers now what I do with this so that I could keep them all in this book but obviously because it's thin up book paper if I'd have just swatched them directly onto this it would have gone through to the other side so what I did was I swatched them out on some cardstock and then I stuck that into this book so I'm still keeping all my swatches in the same place, but it's not going to ruin my notebook. <laughs> so these are the Windsor and Newton Pro markers, swatches that I have stuck in here. You can see where they've been stuck in. But they're really, really nice. I do have the Ohuhu markers as well, but I'm not a fan of those. So I didn't bother swatching them out because, yeah. So I've got the Cullier gel pens all my i swatched out all my gel pens out in here as well so that's the color ones the only gel pens i've not swatched out are the sakura jelly rolls because unfortunately they don't have um color names or numbers on those gel pens i would really love them to but the ones that i have don't so there's no point me um swatching those these are the color alcohol markers Again, I've swatched them out on some cardstock and then stuck it in. These are the Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallics. Beautiful gel pens, those ones. They're my absolute favourites. And then I've swatched out my Derwent Inktense pencils. Again, I've done it on the cardstock and then stuck it in. Anything with water mediums, anything like that that's going to go through the pages. I have just swatched them on cardstock first, but I do love swatching those because especially the Derwent Ink Tents, um, I mean, I've got them in this that they came in because I've not got a case from yet. I got single stocks again from Colt Pens or Jackson's Arts. Can't quite remember. But if I can just grab a few pencils out in these ones and we'll see. Oh, there. So this one is chilli red, it has a little colour on the end there, but if we find chilli red there, it doesn't really, you know, if you look on the, right on the tip of the pencil, it sort of looks a bit brown. So if you was going off this and you thought, oh I want a nice red, you possibly wouldn't pick that colour up, but it is the chilli red there, that's what it is. So it is really nice to swatch out some pencils look totally different to what they do on the tips. But I do need to get a case for those. That is annoying me in that bubble wrap. But that's how I swatched my Derwent Intense out on some cardstock. Really pretty colours. Look at those greens and blues. 
And then these are the Stabilo Cabofello pastel pencils that I swatched out. Now, I got a bit trigger happy with the um, fixative and it pulled too much on here so it has just bled a little bit but not to worry, I can see what colours they are. So yeah, that's where I keep all my swatches. It's a beautiful, beautiful little handmade notebook but everything's compact, everything's there, you know. I only need to grab out this little notebook when I'm doing my colouring. I can take this downstairs onto the couch. I can take it upstairs in bed. It's not taking up a whole load of room. So I absolutely love my little swatch book. I will leave the details to purchase this down below as usual. I just want to show you my cases. I know I've just shown you a, a, a few of them, but I have got a couple that I didn't show you. So I have this one. And I like to keep my little stickers from artists on this one. So these are some by Laura Rafferty. Um, if you've not checked her out, go and check out her stuff. She's a beautiful artist. Um, she also has a colouring book available on Etsy called Circle Portraits. Um, these two little ones down here by Emily Illustrator. She has some cute stickers on her Etsy page and some PDF colouring pages, which are awesome. So I do like when I support my favourite artists and put their stickers by their stickers I stick them on my cases like this so this is where I hold my single stock polychromos that I've got Um, I've put my luminance in here just because this is the only luminance pencil that I love this is the buff titanium and I use it as a blending pencil so I've just bought myself a new one because my last one was about this big teeny tiny so that's a new one that I've just purchased but yeah, that's all I've got in here so far. It's just my um, single stock polychromos, so I'm going to build on that, hopefully. Um, in this one, this is a new case. So this is similar to my other one, but a slightly different colour. This one's a bigger case. So this one has four zipped slots instead of three. So where the others hold 120 pencils, this one holds 160 pencils, I believe. And at the minute, it's got my Prisma colours in it. So you can see these have been used a lot, me trying to get used to them. Um, the, only, the only thing I have with Prisma colours is I've come across a lot of pencils that have just full full point broke on me. Um, I think it was this one last night. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but look at that. I don't know how well you're going to see it, but every time I sharpened it, the whole thing came out. The whole thing came off. The You can see it's cr just crumbling. Can you see that on camera? But that's what my Prisma colours are doing. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if that's a common fault. Or if I need to be like saying, emailing and saying, look, a couple of my pencils are like this. <laughs> because you know no matter how much i try and sharpen this it just does it again i probably won't be able to salvage this pencil now and it's happened with a couple um so that's the only thing with the prisma colors but the colors are amazing i love the colors um i don't know if i've got any more or if i just got those single stock oh i've got a few here and a little um one that's come off that's probably another one i was trying to sharpen yeah it is it was this one again it's doing the same thing the whole thing's just crumbling off when i'm sharpening it so that's you know i prefer the polychromos because of that reason i think but yeah really fun case four slots if you want a bigger case i'll link these in the description 160 slots in those ones and this was the one that held my Black Widows. It's similar to the one I've just shown you, but it's a smaller case. This is 120 slot. I've got all my Black Widows in there. The only Black Widows I don't have is the skin sets. But I've got all the other sets in there now. I really do love the Black Widows. For a budget-friendly pencil, they're awesome. Beautiful pigmented colours in there. So yeah, I hope you enjoy having a little sneak peek in my swatch book, how I swatch all my um, pencils out because I did really enjoy um, showing you that, to be honest. I'd love to hear how you all, all keep your swatches. Do you swatch your pencils out at all or do you not bother? 
do you have lots of separate swatches swatch books because i know you can purchase um all different kinds of ones on amazon there's the ruby charm ones um different channels do offer their own free printouts that are available what do you do comment down below and let me know um but the links to all these will be in the description of this video please do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one bye bye everyone Thank you.